yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? This is Josh over here at American F Dumpster Rentals in Dallas. It is an early morning. I am headed to a my storage yard where I have a storage container, two containers actually, and uh, I also park a limo. So for those of you guys that follow the channel, you, you know that I have a, uh, or I had a limo company sold it back in March of 2023. I still have one limo that refuses to sell. It's a hard sell because it's pretty unique. So it's one of a kind. You're about to see it. I think I've had it. I know I recorded it one time on the channel. Not sure if I lost that video though. I may have lost that video. So I'm not sure if it's been on the channel or not. So some of you guys might uh, might be able to tell me in the comments below what you think of it. Let me know what you think of the limo and it is pretty unique so anyways i'm gonna be it's been a couple weeks since i've been over here to turn it on and to make sure it's all running it's been sitting for a year now over a year so just been hard to sell unfortunately but today i am going to be taking over to my electrician which for those of you guys that were at the lone star dumpster event will know it's my electrical guy electrical audio guy him with expert car audios in grand prairie I'm gonna take it over to him. It's been making uh, kind of a little bit of a loud noise when the lights change colors in the rear of the limo, as well as the bed of the, well, you'll see. I'll tell you when I get there. All right, pulling in now. It's 7.17. I'm gonna park it under covered. Uh, it's a covered spot. And I put new batteries in it a few months back. Oh, there it is. Talk about one heck of a unique limo. You guys know I like my Rams, apparently. So I had this one custom built. Hopefully, there we go. It lights up. So hopefully we got a decent battery. Completely custom build out of California. Um, man. This was... Look at how long it is. It's like 42 feet long, give or take. It is a diesel. Not a Hemi like my truck. It is a diesel. Deleted. Turns on like nothing, only has 40,000 miles on it. Let me show you the back here. All right, so before I go in the back, I'll show you all the controls in the front. Hit that divider down, and that divider pops down. Uh, you can already kind of see what it looks like, but let me go show you inside. So this is one of the neatest features of this truck, is that I had this truck custom built to use the bed of the truck as an exterior uh, party spot. Basically, it's got it's got its own radio controls, Bluetooth, marine grade speakers, and marine grade radio. It's got a bar area. It's got some molding in the acrylic, which is one of the reasons why I'm taking it into gym. I also want them to fix some of the sliding behind the bar. Uh, it does have seat belts. It has a roll cage, uh, just like a Jeep. So this is literally attached to the frame of this truck or the chassis. Um, so it's got a, just like a Jeep, it's got a roll cage, which allows this to be legal. The neatest part about this truck is that door right there. I literally had the idea I wanted the passengers to go in and out freely. Again, we kind of, well, again, nothing. We don't really use this truck. We never did use this truck for, let's say, highway speeds, people in the back. I mean, it's just too crazy. People out here drinking and stuff like that, partying. But more for tailgating, um, you know, cowboy games, parades, that kind of event absolutely quinceaneras they would stand out here take pictures pretty damn neat um so a glass door that separates the bed of the truck you can literally walk right into the to the limo part again its own radio separate from the inside of the limo its own radio controlled by the people that are back here with you know extra speakers a sub under the seats all kinds of stuff and then you got your main part of the limo 
disco flooring um, beautiful leather seats I mean it's got screens in here I don't want to get the floors too dirty so I'm trying not to step on here but screens uh, disco ceiling of course color changing you've got touch controls you can do disco that beeping is one of the reasons why I'm taking it to gyms uh, to figure out why it's beeping like that but behind the seat bar areas um, seating for about 16 people all your seat belts and again you've got your glass door that leads to the bed of the truck completely unique you can even lock that if you wanted to he drives me wild. Uh, for trademark purposes or copyright I won't play that too much but uh, good sound system AC blows nice and cold and the heat is nice and warm so really cool limo we're gonna go take it to gyms get that fixed get a couple little things touched up and then I might have a buyer interested in it first I'm gonna take it to the truck wash though same place I take my trucks to take it to the truck wash get it washed up cleaned up before I take it over there like I said it's been sitting for well it's been sitting for over a year but last time I took it for a wash was probably two or three months ago I mean look how cool this truck looks though I mean come on now tow hitch package eight-foot bed one piece glass just needs a little bit of loving and somebody that can put it to good work because it's been a while well unfortunately the truck wash is closed they probably don't open till eight and I don't have time to wait so we're just gonna take it like that nice and dirty over to Jim's back on the freeway all right we're pulling up right now here at uh, expert car audio the amount of looks that you get when driving this truck is just ridiculous um, you know truck guys love it some love it some hate it some think it's not even a personal vehicle or think it's a personal vehicle instead of a company vehicle there's expert car audio now I gotta now is where the magic happens because I gotta somehow try to do a U-turn here which is not the easiest thing to do whatsoever and I'm not gonna make it I already know that so I'm gonna have to go in reverse block traffic hopefully nobody smashes me on the side it's also a way of life to uh, jump curves when you're in a truck like this there's no avoiding it whatsoever so hopefully he's here they don't even open till nine usually yo yo what in the hell is this what are you you look like something I shit out this morning what's up How's it going? Jim here or no? Uh -huh. Jim here? Yeah. Oh. What's up? What's up? So I don't know why it's. I don't know if it's coming over the speakers or what. What the deal is there? Damn. I mean, no one's been in it for a year, so. What light is not working or working? All the lights working here. Everything's fine in here except for that beeping. Uh, yeah. That's normal. But yeah, I don't know if you, well, you can't see it now, but yeah, that it's just got mold right there. This, and then the speakers light up, but this one's like half works, half doesn't. Okay. Um, if you could just take care of it. Okay. You don't do anything. What's up, buddy? You don't do any of the, uh, oh, why are you wet? I'm playing in the grass. Oh, you don't do any of the, um, line neck stuff, right? Like down here? On the steps? All right, what should That's it. And if you know anybody that can wash it. Stop. Sell it, get out. Uh, just let me know how much it is. Okay. And I'll. How you doing? All right, made it to the yard. 
I still have that 15 I've got to dump before I take it to Mineola. So I've got to dump it, and then uh, Alexa just booked me a 30 yard in Dallas. So, which is good, I'll take that. And the good thing is, I had taken to Mineola last time a 30 yard for the concrete, and I just kind of marked it, spray marked it, or spray painted it to tell them how high they could go. And uh, so, I'll dump this one, swap it out, and then come here, dump that concrete, and then take that dumpster to to this uh, drop off in Dallas. So let's get going. All right, headed to the landfill. All right, pulling in now, and I see that dumpster there. I was actually thinking of the dumpster like that. There's several like RV parks in my area. Um, and that could really use something like that. Even like office buildings. Well, it's kind of good to have. Good options. Only for contracted work, not for like, you know, residential stuff. But yeah, been there, dumped that. Has a yard right here next to the landfill, which is super convenient. Looks like they share it or something. I'm not sure how that works out, but they got other stuff there. But it's not too long of a line up here because we've got to get all the way to Mineola. Thank you. Alrighty, have a good one. Alright. Two marshals just sitting up here, huh? Kind of interesting. 1.32 tons. Say a couple marshals. Usually, marshals, uh, they do more like, uh, warrants. Um, you got a warrant, they. They're the ones that come get you. Or if they're looking for a dumpster guy. Let's see here. Bubba Tugs again. Bubba Tugs. Let's see who else we got going on here today. Not too bad of a line at all. So we got Red Box and Tejano Waste again with a Tejano hat. Red Box. It's one of the regular cans. Not a, what do you call it? A toilet dumpster combo. Which is what they're known for. I can't reach it up.
go ahead and drop the dumpster here because if I'm delivering this to a concrete job, I don't want that big old cardboard dirty in my concrete or my bricks. on my trip to Mineola not even halfway in there's a Bucky's and when there's a Bucky's the rule is you have to stop plain and simple if you don't stop it's a clear violation of Texas code and you should be shut down so I'm gonna stop at Bucky's I'm gonna grab a couple waters use the restroom and then uh, get back on the road so here is setting up we're laying down some serious concrete. Coming up to the job site finally, a little bit after 12. I don't know, this is such a long drive. <laughs> oh my lord, I can't. I mean, I'll do it, but it's just such a long drive. Let's see where they want me to place the dumpster at. Thirty yards should be back here somewhere unless they moved it. We're gonna look inside, make sure they uh, see they got two, three, four, five, and yeah, one in the front. So at least six dumpsters here. Dang, they filled it up. Well, let's see here. They filled it up. You can see the line that I marked on the edges. This is why I shouldn't have brought a, pretty much why I shouldn't have brought a 30, but I had no choice. Put it right next to it and I'll move it. They have the heavy machinery. If they want to move it, they can.
right, so I lied. I'm not going to go to the yard. I was looking at the address of where I was going to be dropping off this 30. And I just thought it was better. I've got a place over here where I can dump brick and concrete for free. I thought it would be better to uh, just come over here and dump it. And then I'm only 12 miles or... I think it was 12 miles or 12 minutes away from the address, the delivery address of where I'm dropping it off at. So uh, it saves me from going all the way to the yard and then coming up here, spending another 30, 45 minutes to then, you know, deliver it. So I don't need it that bad. I got piles of concrete so far and brick at the yard. I can, uh, I can let this one go. It saves me time and gas. So, I haven't been here yet on the channel, so this is the first time I come uh, to one of these places on the channel. But, like I said, it's a uh, it's called Big City Concrete, I believe, or Big City Crushing. They take concrete. Uh, you can dump for free. This one apparently is 24 hours a day. I can You can come here and dump concrete uh, 24 hours a day here. It's in North Dallas off Walnut Street. We're going to go down the street of where Gas Monkey is. For those of you guys that know that show, uh, Gas Monkey's over here, I believe. Yeah, Gas Monkey's right here. looking for ways to bring in profit and if you got a collision shop you got to be doing insurance work and my buddy josh owns a luxury stretch limousine company down the street here and i brought rochelle and Vlad down here to meet josh and see if we can get an account set up so we can have consistent business coming in the door this is josh rochelle nice to meet you Vlad. always looking for good repair facilities it's really hard to find one shop that can do everything for us that we really need how about how many vehicles do you think you have so right now we have 22 limos, buses, shuttle buses. Where do you find some of the big, biggest issues are with uh, the limousines? So cars weren't really meant to be stretched. So you got electrical issues, AC issues, and body issues. And if we, we have paint work or body work, it needs to be spot on. It's got to look right. We have uh, technology at the shop to be able to properly color match everything. So we'll ensure that we're getting the right color on your car. It's hard to find somebody that can actually make us a top priority. That's what we're looking for. Biggest thing is turn around to. The good guys are always super busy, and they can't get you in until next week or the following week, and that just doesn't work for me. Yeah, so I think what we could do is set you up to where your account would have priority in our shop. Quick's the most important for us, because if it's hidden and it's getting work done, we're not making any money out of it, right? Josh, you think we can be your one-stop shop? I would love to have a one-stop shop, and I'd like to give you guys a try for sure. That'd be oh, awesome. Let's awesome. Let's do it. Thank you. Guys you. Walk out of my office Absolutely. Yes, sir. Let's go. Awesome. Thanks, Josh. Right. Thank you, man. This is an amazing first step for us. We are going to be the one-stop shop for him. Uh, we'll do body. We'll do mechanical, and he can just you know take his keys, drop them off, and build that one-on-one -on -one relationship and not have to worry about the vehicles from there. So we're really looking forward to that opportunity. Y'all going to do some paperwork? What have you? I'm going to get back here and take a nap and drink all the champagne. <laughs> Damn. All right, guys and gals, so uh, hopefully you're ready to get back to work. Uh, so ready. Did you bring your hammer with you? Yeah, right? <laughs> so today's the reveal day. We're going to take the family back to Northridge Collision Center and show them what it's really all about. And since we went out and got some business, I figured why not take them in the business that we actually have. And I like the pink one. I thought it was kind of sexy. Look at that. Oh, my God. It's a little better. Holy oh. Welcome to the new Northridge Collision Center. Oh. So yeah, it's kind of nice to be able to have an option to come here. Uh, again, you're dumping for free. You're not paying to dump. Uh, as long as there's no junk in there. They do even accept rebar. So if you got rebar mixed in, they don't care. They're able to uh, separate it out.
going to the top of the mountain or the hill here. You got scrap it, turnkey. A lot of these guys, I think they're doing their uh, washouts. Try to save time. Well, there goes that idea. Uh, man, that sucks. So now I've got to go to Louisville. He said Hillsboro. I thought he said Hillsboro. He must have meant Louisville. And I got to pay 40 bucks to dump it, which is fine. I'll do that. On our way to Louisville. See, this is the kind of stuff that you guys have to account for when you're giving customers uh, a window of time. Where you're telling customers they're going to be there at a certain time. I had no idea that now it's going to add another 45 minutes to an hour on my trip, more than likely, because I went to the wrong place. It's just, you know, I tell people we deliver between 8 and 5. Sometimes it's even 8 and 8. Depends on how late they book. This was the same day booking. Uh, you know, and the first thing they want to know is, well, what time? Well, we deliver eight hours. I mean, my drivers work eight hours a day. We deliver eight hours a day. Um, you know, let's say this was a, there was an accident at the landfill, which has happened before. I've had it where the front loaders have had an accident and they've actually flipped over. I had to wait for, you know, the investigation to be done, all that stuff. They literally shut down the landfill. Nobody can come in and nobody can go out. Uh, I've had that happen before you could have literally a flat tire on the side of the road and you're waiting for a tire change all kinds of stuff so For all of you guys that are telling customers we're gonna be there I'll be there at by 2, 2 p.m. Or giving them a set time You know once you become busier that that whole policy has to change because there's no way you can account for all the different variables Anyways, we're about 17 minutes out this did not save me now any time. I could have gone back to the yard, used this, and not have to pay to dump it. Now I gotta pay to dump it. I think she said 40 bucks for a tandem truck, which ain't nothing. It's not much, but it's more about my time now. Um, which, again, I could have dumped it at the yard for free and been, and dropped off. And then now I'm gonna get stuck going back home in traffic because Dallas sucks with traffic. And there's always traffic somewhere. 30 miles an hour on the highway right now because this has been under construction for 10 years. Sometimes all right well here we go a couple minutes out
never been to this one just to be clear i've been only been to the other one two times and that was for a mcdonald's drive through that was tore up uh that i ended up taking there i would have taken it back to my yard as well uh but they had rebar in it and i didn't want rebar mixed in with the concrete that i took so you know but only two times have i been there never have i seen the front end loader there at work or the operator work there uh except for today and of course today i take brick and get busted that's on me though i should have called i think this is the landfill yeah it is it's from a republic landfill that's on me though i really should have called ahead of time to make sure that they take brick i googled it and it just said some places take brick so most places take brick as well i don't know oh well either way it's on me so not their fault to go here to find out I got brick yeah uh, they said 40 for our tandems Yeah. Alright, so they did weigh me. I'm at 59,540. So, still legal. Yeah, I'm still legal. Under 66,000 pounds. So, not too bad. About three tons under. So, they did weigh me a lot. Or they did load me up a lot. Uh, pretty heavy. We're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go dump. Sit straight back, left hand side. Something about a red bin and a bunch of files. All right, let's try round two. I want to get this heavy shit off me. Ah. And then go deliver this one. Oh, some nice pavers actually. Tire looks low. Dang. Wonder if I got a little. Yep. Yep. It's not supposed to have any trash in it. Oh, Got some brick in there, but Five minutes out from delivering this thing. And I'm stuck in traffic. Like I told you, look at about 35 is four o'clock. Could be a worse time to deliver a dumpster. 
out here in Dallas at least. Usually we try to deliver dumpsters in Dallas between 10 and like 2. Sometimes even 2 o'clock is too late. But what can you do? Son at soccer practice at 5. Definitely don't think I'm going to make that. Alright, we're just about pulling up. Looks like it's right down the street to the right hand on the right hand side. Let's see here. I believe it's this one right here. With the very, very low power line, so I'm thinking I'm going to uh, come at it from this driveway and put it over here. 